today we're going to take you through getting this extra ready for sun and fun. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so welcome back. And uh, we're going to take you through a cool little fun journey here. So we have uh, Warren Silliers on his way here from Silliers Aviation and he's gonna be installing a smoke system in the plane. You know, this is an IAC champion plane and uh, classic, beautiful paint job. We're not gonna to touch anything on the paint job, but there's no smoke system in it. You know, it's competition airplane. So we got a lot of stuff to get through and um, we got the camera crew getting everything ready. So you're gonna see them in the backgrounds and hear them getting ready to uh, film Warren when he gets here to do the, the tanks and stuff. So a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So we'll see you in the next piece. All right, so Warren just showed up and he brought all the parts we need to get going on this. So, hey Warren, welcome to Fort Lauderdale. How you doing? So everybody, this is Warren Silliers and Silliers Aviation and he's the one that has got us the extra 300. He's putting the new smoke system in the airplane. So this just came in from Extra. And Warren, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what's it gonna take to get this thing all installed and ready to go? Yeah, so it's a pretty intense install. We've got to take the entire airplane apart, unfortunately. So we have to pull the cowling, the body top, and the belly. Um, that'll allow us access to the exhaust system, uh, any of the brackets where we have, there's two tanks we have to install. It's a um, reservoir tank and a, um, and a header tank. The header tank has the flop tube in it. Um, and uh, the pumps and the electrical wiring and everything all has to be installed uh, the switches the circuit breakers all that so unfortunately we have to take the whole airplane apart so for that. we got a lot of work to do that we did, yeah so uh so everybody we're going to go ahead and get started and we'll keep checking back with warren throughout the install and get you some updates and then if you guys don't know warren because he won't brag about himself so i'm going to do it for him <laughs> so he is one of the best techs that you can ever find out there especially in you know our world when it comes to high performance and aerobatics he is the go-to guy yeah as well as general aviation uh, aircraft and stuff. So um, he's a wealth of information. He was one of the lead techs on the Red Bull Air Race team. So he knows this world inside and out, and I'm excited for him to get this installed in there. And then we're gonna go fly this thing and check it out. So let's get going. Okay, so as you can see, you've been watching, you know, a lot of the plane is apart and let's go check out and see where Warren's at. It looks like you're about halfway. Is that right? Um, yeah, maybe halfway on the install, but uh, we still got all the wiring that we have to do. But uh, yeah, we got the main tank in. We got the header tank down below. We got a lot of the plumbing in and we're just about to put the ventilation system in. And uh, so what's the difference in the tanks? How do they work? So this is a reservoir tank. So the reservoir tank uses gravity feed into the header tank. Uh, the header tank is a two gallon tank, it's, which uh, contains the, the flop tube. So when you go upside down, you have two gallons worth of smoke to use, and then you've got to flip around and then let the reservoir tank fill it again, and then you can carry on. 
<laughs> All right, cool. And then the, what are the pipes and hoses here? Uh, so these are vents. So, uh, so these, these are actually aluminum tanks. They look like composites because they got a composite shell on the outside. Um, but the shell is there to contain any fluid in case your tank leaks. So there's a, a drain on the other side. Uh, if this ruptures, the fluid will get between the skin and the tank and it'll drain into a drain and it'll make a puddle at the right side of your gear. So that's how you know if there's a leak. That's how you know. Right. Yeah. That's a good idea. So there's, uh, there's one for this one, there's one for this one. And then there's of course a vent for the actual tank itself to displace the air and the fluid as it, as it moves. Is there any check valves or anything on those? Or no? Uh, not, no, none on the uh, vents, only on the supply system. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. We're going to check back then and see where we're at. Sounds good.